Forget flying cars, the hoopla now is about the Hyperloop. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. Give it about 10 to 15 years and we could be traveling between cities at super high speeds and clear tubes. At least that's the concept being pitched by Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. He and his team released a 57-page outline of the proposed Hyperloop system, which are shotgun-like tubes that use electromagnetic energy to accelerate pods of passengers up to 800 miles per hour. Passengers would get from San Francisco to L.A. in 30 minutes, whereas normally it takes about five and a half hours or so to drive by car. If you're thinking about the intro to future Drama. Well, it's not exactly like that. People would be sitting down and the G-forces felt would be similar to riding in an airplane, but it's not subject to turbulence. This is just a proof of concept being shared because Musk says he has to focus his resources on Tesla and SpaceX, but the entrepreneur shared this report in the hopes that someone would be encouraged to take on the project. So how much could it cost to build? Musk says $6 billion to connect LA and San Francisco, which is 10 times less than the cost of the proposed California high-speed rail project. Facebook updated its mobile website and apps with new tricks. You can make restaurant reservations and look up TV show listings on some brand pages. Facebook is busy trying all sorts of things to keep you on the app. It just bought a company that does speech-to-speech -speech translation. So give it a few months and maybe we'll just talk to our phones to post a status update and listen to comments. If you wish your television had a little more curve, Samsung officially unveiled its 55-inch curved OLED TV. It'll sell in the U.S. for $9,000. That price is going to sting LG because it began selling its curved OLED for fifteen dollars You've seen OLED displays in Samsung smartphones, but as for the curve, they say it's supposed to make for a more immersive viewing experience. Or maybe it's just something cool to show off to your friends. And oddly enough, neither company is selling a non-curved OLED TV in the U.S. If you want the Xbox One, but you don't care for the Kinect, Microsoft is reversing its stance and now it says the new game system will not require the Kinect to be attached. The Kinect will still come included in the box. There was some pushback from people who didn't like the idea of a camera and microphone sensor always being connected in their living room, and some just didn't care to use the Kinect. But keep in mind, the Kinect can always just be turned off if it weirds you out. That's your tech news update, and you can read up on more details at cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.